It was a time of change, a time of revolution. The year is 1775, and the American colonies are in open rebellion against the British crown. Set against a backdrop of political unrest and a burning desire for freedom, the American Revolutionary War was no ordinary conflict. It was a clash of ideologies, a struggle for rights, and a fight for independence that would birth a new nation. The seeds of this war were sown long before 1775. The American colonies, spread across a vast and diverse landscape, had been under British rule for over a hundred years. However, the relationship between the colonists and their distant rulers was far from harmonious. The colonists, many of whom had left their homelands in search of freedom and opportunity, chafed under the heavy hand of British rule. The Stamp Act of 1765, a tax imposed by the British Parliament on the American colonies without their consent, was a particularly sore point. It was seen as a gross violation of their rights, sparking widespread protests and marking the beginning of a united American resistance against British rule. As the years rolled on, the tension between the colonies and the British Crown only grew. The Boston Tea Party of 1773, a defiant act of protest against the Tea Act, further stoked the flames of rebellion. The colonists, now united in their desire for independence, were ready to take a stand. In 1775, the first shots of the Revolutionary War were fired at the battles of Lexington and Concord. This marked the beginning of a gruelling eight-year-long war that would see the American colonies pitted against the might of the British Empire. It was a war that would test the resolve of the colonists, push them to their limits, and ultimately lead to the birth of a new nation. In this climate of rebellion and transformation, a man named Oliver Pollock would make his mark. Born in 1737 in Bredy County, Tyrone, Northern Ireland, Oliver Pollock's journey was destined to be intertwined with the history of a nation not yet born. As a young man, Pollock was drawn to the promise of opportunity that America offered, and he set sail for the New World. Upon arrival, he swiftly established himself as a successful merchant in Philadelphia, demonstrating a keen business acumen and a tireless work ethic. But Pollock's ambitions didn't stop at Philadelphia, his ventures led him to New Orleans, where he capitalised on the bustling port city's commercial potential. He quickly rose through the ranks of society, becoming a prominent figure in the local business community. His dealings in these two cities laid the foundation for his subsequent involvement in the American Revolutionary War, a chapter of his life that would forever etch his name into the annals of history. Oliver Pollock, a man of vision and ambition, was about to step onto the stage of history. As the winds of revolution stirred, Pollock found himself drawn into the fight for freedom. This Irish-born merchant, settled in the New World, was about to play a pivotal role in the American Revolutionary War, a role that remains often overlooked in the annals of history. Pollock's involvement in the Revolutionary War was not on the battlefield, but in the realm of finance. He had established a successful mercantile business in Spanish Louisiana, and he used this wealth to support the American cause. He became a key financier of the revolution, providing critical funding to the Continental Congress at a time when resources were scarce. His contributions, often made from his own personal fortune, helped keep the Revolutionary Army supplied and able to continue the fight against British rule. But Pollock's influence extended beyond his financial contributions. Recognizing the strategic importance of Spanish Louisiana, the Continental Congress appointed him as their commercial agent in the region. In this role, Pollock navigated the delicate political landscape, forging alliances and securing vital resources for the American cause. His efforts were instrumental in maintaining the supply lines that kept the revolutionary forces operational. Pollock was not a soldier, nor a politician. He was a businessman with a keen sense for opportunity and a deep belief in the cause of American independence. His financial acumen and diplomatic skills were crucial in a war that was as much about money and resources as it was about ideals and independence. Pollock's story is one of a man who used his wealth and influence not for personal gain, but to support a cause greater than himself. He was a man who believed in the promise of a new nation, and he was willing to stake his fortune on that belief. Through his financial acumen and dedication, Oliver Pollock was instrumental in sustaining the revolution. He is a testament to the fact that the fight for freedom is not just waged on the battlefield, but in the halls of finance and diplomacy as well. In 1778, 
Amidst the tumult of war, Oliver Pollock penned a symbol that would become an enduring part of global culture. This was a time when the American Revolutionary War was in full swing, and amidst the chaos, Pollock, a merchant and financier of the war, was busy keeping financial ledgers. His transaction records show a symbol that resembles the modern dollar sign, a simple S with a vertical stroke or two through it. This symbol was used to denote the Spanish milled dollar, a widely accepted currency of the time. It is from these ledgers that we get the popular narrative of Pollock's invention of the dollar sign. Pollock was no stranger to the financial world. He had amassed a fortune through his trading businesses and was heavily involved in financing the war efforts against the British. He understood the need for a distinctive symbol to represent the currency of the new nation. His symbol was simple, yet distinctive. It was easy to write, easy to recognize and hard to forge. It was a stroke of genius that perfectly met the need of the hour. This symbol, first penned by Pollock, was later adopted as the sign for the US dollar when it was officially introduced as the national currency in 1792. Since then, it has been used billions of times every day in all corners of the world. It has come to represent not just a currency, but an entire nation's economic power. The impact of Pollock's contribution cannot be overstated. His symbol has become one of the most recognized symbols in the world. It has facilitated countless transactions, helped build economies, and even become a symbol of capitalism itself. However, the question of whether Pollock truly invented the dollar sign remains a topic of debate among historians. Some believe that the symbol evolved from the abbreviation for peso, while others credit Pollock with its creation. Whether or not Pollock truly invented that dollar sign, his influence on the financial world was undeniably significant. His symbol, whether by design or by chance, has truly become an enduring part of global culture. Following the revolution, Pollock's life was marked by both triumph and tragedy. As the dust of the American Revolutionary War settled, Oliver Pollock found himself facing financial difficulties. His generous financial contributions during the war had left him in debt, and his once thriving business was now struggling. Undeterred, Pollock remained resolute and began the arduous work of rebuilding his fortune. In an attempt to start afresh, Pollock moved to Mississippi. His resilience was evident as he weathered this stormy phase of his life with grace and dignity. Despite his hardships, he continued to contribute to his community and played a significant role in the development of Mississippi. Pollock's later years were quiet, a stark contrast to his tumultuous younger years, filled with war and revolution. He lived out his final days in Pinckneyville, Mississippi, where he passed away on December 17, 1823. But let's not just remember Pollock for his financial struggles. His legacy extends far beyond his personal trials. To this day, Oliver Pollock is celebrated as a historically undervalued figure of the American Revolutionary War. His enduring spirit and unyielding commitment to the cause of freedom have left an indelible mark on American history. And of course, there's the dollar sign. Often credited to Pollock, the symbol we now associate with American currency first appeared in his ledgers in 1778. Whether or not Pollock was the true originator, his association with this iconic symbol is a testament to his impact and influence. So, as we reflect on the life and legacy of Oliver Pollock, we find a story of resilience, determination and unwavering commitment to a cause. His life was not without its struggles, but through it all, Pollock remained steadfast his spirit unbroken. From the tumult of revolution to the quiet of his final years, Oliver Pollock's life was a testament to resilience and the pursuit of freedom. His story serves as a reminder that even in the face of adversity, one can leave a lasting impact on the world. Oliver Pollock, a name not as renowned as some, yet his contributions echo through the annals of American history. Born in Ireland, Pollock's life journey led him to the shores of America, where he played a pivotal role as a financier of the Revolutionary War. He was a merchant with a vision, not just for himself, but for a new nation bursting with potential. His contributions were not limited to the economic realm. Pollock also left an indelible mark on American culture, with what many believe to be the creation of the US dollar sign in 1778. A symbol now synonymous with American economy and identity, in his later years, Pollock continued to serve his adopted country. 
contributing to the development of the Mississippi region. His life and work, though not always in the limelight, were woven into the very fabric of America's birth and growth. In the grand tapestry of the American Revolution, Oliver Pollock wove a thread of his own, leaving an indelible mark on the fabric of a new nation.